Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Hey, check out this video right here. This was sent to me by Mr. Jerry Peak out of the Bardstown area. This is what his backyard looked like earlier today. Look at that severe storm raking through the region. High winds in excess of 60 miles an hour. Matter of fact, Jerry was saying, eh, I'm not sure if this was a tornado or not. Perhaps maybe a treetop tornado. Quite a few limbs were down in and around this region. Just some nasty weather in sections of the viewing area, as you know, earlier today. And also those showers and storms producing heavy, heavy rainfall. Here's Jefferson County surrounding regions. This is the rainfall as it occurred the past 24 to 30 hours. Notice from uh, Floyd County, Southern Clark County through Eastern and Northeastern Jefferson County, Southern Oldham, much of Shelby, hammered two to five inches of rain. That's what prompted that flash flood warning earlier this evening, right around Shelbyville itself over five inches of rainfall, my goodness. And you can see around the viewing area, much of the region getting soaked, but you can see those couple of areas of real heavy rain, the one I just talked about, and one from Bardstown down to near Lebanon, as well as Springfield off to the south of the metro, another two to five inches of rain. So finally, we're getting a break in the action. Good to see. We have clear to partly cloudy skies right now. The numbers today, 89 and 68. By the way, when we hit that 89, the heat index was 99 degrees. We had all that fuel for those big storms. Officially at the airport, about nine tenths of an inch of rain. Right now, clear to partly cloudy, 73. The humidity sky high, 90% with that southwesterly breeze in here at six miles an hour. So here's your radar scan. Boy, a sight for sore eyes. Nothing showing up around the metro. Much of the viewing area void of any rain, tracking one isolated shower off to the north of Salem. That will soon die out. The remainder of the region looking great. And overall, I think it's going to stay pretty quiet through the overnight period. The exception, off to the west of us. Watch what happens here. The next wave of big storms expected to blow up after midnight tonight, but to the west of our region. Watch the future cast right around Paducah, down to near Nashville. Training thunderstorms are expected to blow up tonight, right through tomorrow morning. Run over the same regions, and right now, boy, if I'm out near Paducah, I'm a little worried because uh, some areas very close to far western Kentucky, southern Illinois, and this is very close to Paducah, could see in excess of six inches of rain overnight tonight. That could cause some major flash flooding. Around here tomorrow morning, upper 60s, low 70s will greet you. There will be a chance for a couple of stray showers, mainly to the south of the metro in the morning. I think the remainder of us pretty much dry on your Wednesday. Warm and sticky still. High temperatures, a mix of middle and upper 80s. We'll get one more decent shot at rain in here by Thursday, late afternoon, Thursday night. Then finally, we'll dry out for several days. 71 overnight tonight. Isolated showers will be coming to an end. Here's your detailed 12-hour forecast. Again, a few scattered storms possible in the southern areas of our viewing vicinity. Tomorrow morning, the remainder of the region mainly dry. Temperatures will climb into the middle and upper 80s. There's your seven-day forecast. Yet another chance for scattered late day and evening storms Thursday on a cold front. Vicki Ricketts really not going to cool us off, but what it will do is give us some drier air. Friday, Saturday, Sunday right now look nice. Mm. Lower humidity, middle and upper 80s, then the rain chance, the unsettled pattern returns again next week. Finally, it looks like the weekend's yeah. looking yeah. decent for a change around the region. Lower humidity looks good too. Boy, I can't wait. <laughs> Thanks.